Hi, welcome to my channel. Today we will see how to do multiple regression analysis using Excel. We will see how to obtain such graph with scatter plot and trend line for different independent variables and how to display or obtain such analysis output and how to write the regression linear regression equation like this but before that let us copy this data set to another blank sheet here once we do this let us go to data and data analysis probably if you are unable to see this one displayed here go to file tab and go to option from this dialog box click add in and from manage excel add-ins go and click go from this dialog box we have such different component our interest is on analysis tool pack ensure that this one is checked once it's checked just click and we'll see it here once we have this go to data analysis from this dialog box select regression and click ok insert the y range that is a dependent variable the x range the independent variables our dependent variable is live body weight and select it here and our independent variables are articles body length and measure head select them like this and check these levels and our confidence level is 95 percent okay 95 percent if we are interested our output to be displayed on the same sheet just click on auto print and give it place where you want to display for the output once you do this just click on ok this is our regression analysis output the most important uh, R square for multiple regression is adjusted R square that looks like here at 8.7 percent and here the very important issue is to see the most important significant variables for our equation this is our intercept and these are the b values the slope okay from here Hertzgers is highly significant determinant factor for like body weight but others are not significant because they are greater than 0 0.05 so we may not be forced to include such variables in our equation but for the timing just to show you how to write the equation we can write like this the dependent variable y equals to uh, minus 47.774 plus 0.09994 hertzgers plus 0.069 Bordeng plus 0.031 Wizard Head. This is our equation, our multiple linear regression equation. Okay, uh, but we, we may not we, we may not be interested to include this insignificant independent variables in our equation. So what we need to do is that just go to data and data analysis select regression then what you need to do is we have to only use the dependent variable that is Hertzgers okay the Hertzgers then we will give this one as a place not, not to overlap on the previous output and then click OK see this one is a equation with important significant factor is Hertzgers minus uh, 50.07 plus 1.114 Hertzgers this is our equation with significant 
determinant factor which is Hertzgers. Okay. Uh, the second issue that we need to see is how to prepare such a graph, such a graph, and how can we display equation for each trend line and R square value for each trend line, each line. So what we need to do is just uh, select this entire data set like this and go to insert tab and click on scatter plot like this scatter plot like this then uh, select each uh, factor scatter dot like this and right click on it and add trend line and do the same for others do the same for others right click add trend line and again do the same for the search factor like this now we have displayed our trend line how we can display the equation in dark square bar for each line to do this just select the line each line and check display equation on chart and display r square value on chart now it has been displayed here you can drag like this this is the equation in the r square value for this trend line and for the second trend line which is body length we do the same procedure we do the same procedure like this and this is the equation in r square value for the body length and for Hertzgers, we will do the same procedure. Apply the same procedure. Just check on display equation on chart and display R square value on chart. Now, this one is the uh, equation in R square value for Hertzgers. Now, uh, we can edit our graph. We can edit our graph. If we, we are not interested for this title, we can delete it and delete it. We can uh, insert axis title like this. This is uh, live body weight, live body weight kg in kg, and this is linear body measurement the centimeter these are our uh, k our k legend now uh, to clearly indicate the viewers which question is for which line we can indicate it with arrow just go to insert and click on share and click select the arrow you can do like this you can do like this maybe to to have different color from the trend lens, we can give it a, a green color and we can apply the same procedure for other two lines like this okay. and we can do this and uh, we can also do the same procedure for uh. and do the same procedure for this one and we can apply like this okay you can give green color for the arrow now we have uh, completed on the uh, we can delete this grid lines if necessary and we can also uh, do other additions now uh, we, have, we can remove the border line to do that just go to border and click no line here no line now we can copy this graph to our word file like this okay uh, maybe some addition maybe required like this this is our graph 
think it may be helpful to you if you like the video please don't forget to click the like button and if you are new for my channel please subscribe and for further different type of videos just click on the bell icon thank you